With several inches of new snow on the ground, building a snow fort or tunnel might be on your kid's to-do list for this weekend. But after one 12-year-old Chicago girl uh, died late, uh, late last month from a snow fort collapsing on top of her, Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley talked with firefighters to find out how your kids can still have fun but also stay safe playing in the winter snow. It wouldn't take very long at all, especially in these conditions, um, for a child to kind of suffocate and 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 you not know about it. It's an incident Adam Pitts has never seen in his six years with the Moorhead Fire Department, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. Well, if it's a really high pile and they're tunneling in on it, um, there would be a lot of concern that it could fall down in on them. And uh, it's much like a um, avalanche. When people get stuck in avalanches, they can't breathe, they get asphyxiated, and um, that's how a lot of them die. But Pitt says that also doesn't mean your kids shouldn't be allowed to have fun in the snow. And if you can, have them start building like a fort from the ground up, and it's not way over their head if they you know, don't have them tunnel in, have them pull snow down and build a fort around them and then tunnel up. Some people tell me the best way to make sure your tunnel doesn't collapse on you is to take a candle or boiling water inside to harden up the walls. But Pitt says that's not the best idea. It could actually hurt the kid even more if it does collapse on them because now you have that hard surface falling down on them. Now you have potentially you know, scrapes, broken bones. So after building my tunnel this afternoon, I wanted to get the expert's opinion, only to find out I'd done it all wrong. So even though that looks safe, um, you could get stuck in there if you're all the way back and that closes down in front of you. I'm done. You could it. have two inches of snow in front of you, or you could have six feet, depending on how it fell. I'm here in my snow tunnel that I built today, and as you just heard, I did this all wrong. Pitt says that if your child is going to build a snow tunnel this weekend, that not to build one into such a tall pile of snow like this one. He says to build one into a snow drift or a snow pile that's about the same height as your child. But he says the best thing that you can do is plop in, down into the snow kind of dig yourself a circle around and then build that snow up around you more like a fort. So that way there is absolutely no way that snow can collapse on you and trap you and possibly kill you. Reporting live from my snow fort in South Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. All right, thanks Bailey for that live report.